Welcome to our video devotional for today, Monday, May the 31st, 2021. Uh, I want to thank you for joining me today. We're continuing discussion of stewardship where we've been the last couple of weeks. And this week we want to talk about the stewardship of our time and commitments. In Psalm 24, 1, there's this very precious scripture that, that kind of encapsulates for me uh, the stewardship of our life. The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness, the world and those who dwell therein. In James chapter 4, verses 14 through 17, we read this. Whereas you do not know what will happen tomorrow, for what is your life? It's even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. But now you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. Therefore, to him who knows to do good and does not do it, to him it is sin. I find it very interesting that America is the most time-oriented country in the world. And so there's so much scripture to help us address the stewardship of our time. The Bible in Ephesians 5.16 gives us sound advice about time. In the Amplified, it says, making the very most of the time, buying up each opportunity because the days are evil. The Living Bible in Ephesians 5.16 says, don't be fools, be wise. Make the most of every opportunity you have for doing good. Uh, the Message Bible says, make the most of every chance you get. These are desperate times. And the King James Version of the Bible says, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Now, since we live in this country that has so much about clock watching or watching the time, uh, it seems like we get pushed to the very edge so often about not just uh, an hour, but minutes and even seconds. And, and because of that, we overanalyze our lives. We, we tend to just, well, I, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I've got to get this done, and so forth. We do need obedience to God's word, but we, we need the sense of rest in the press, in the, maybe the oppression and all the onslaught of all this time constraint. And Jesus seemed to carry that rest in the press all the time, every day of his life. I believe that much of our anxiety about life is related to the misuse of our time and the overcommitment of our lives. The Father's plan for our life, our individual lives, is way too good for us to run around the planet like chickens with their heads cut off. I believe the meaningful way that Christ lived life is the plan God has for us. The purpose of Christ to fulfill the Father's plan for him personally was masterfully played out every day because Jesus had heavenly consultation daily with the Father. I hope you caught that because I think the use of our time, the stewardship of our time, the exercise of, of the time that we have in our life is, is so much better when we've spent time with the Father. See, Jesus, you'll read this a number of times in scriptures, got up a great while before day and, and set aside time just to meet with the Father. Heavenly consultation, we call it. And God is at work in us by his Holy Spirit to, to assist us to steward our time and our commitments to best bring pleasure to him and fulfill his greater will on planet earth. But I want you to hear this. You and I are going to be much more fulfilled if we are listening to the Father and doing his will. Because while we bring pleasure to him, he releases that pleasure to us. Once we have spent time daily with the Father, it's much easier for us to catch the Father's heart. And knowing the Father's heart will greatly assist us in using our time wisely and guarding our commitment so as not to interfere with our bringing glory to God by both the use of our time and the exercise of our commitments. I I think all of us kind of need parameters or fences or guards, whatever term you want to use, around our time or we'll misuse, waste, and watch the time just evaporate before us. 
I was sitting with an insurance agent this week, and and uh, and he was talking about he had recently had some uh, work done on his heart, and he we were talking about how fast time's going. He says, "Do you realize we're almost halfway through the, the year 2021?" And he said, "It just seems like yesterday." He says, "I'm I'm thinking now in terms of years, not months or or weeks. It's just going by so fast." And I, I think for most of us, if we have a schedule, we have a parameter, we have a guard around our time, uh, it assists us in using our time appropriately. So for me, it's, it's for a vast majority of us, we're still in the workplace. And, and, and so we have a guard about our time because we have to be at work at a certain time and, and we have to perform certain duties while we're there. And even if over the last year and a half, uh, it's an online schedule for us. It still assists us in guarding our time. See, there's so much to distract us from that which is of utmost importance to our lives, that of doing the will of the Father. That if we're not careful, we'll just let time fly away from us and we won't make proper investments with our time. We won't exercise the stewardship of our time appropriately. The days we live in are evil, very evil. Uh, <laughs> The Message Bible says these are desperate times. If we're not careful, we can be caught up in that evil. Let me encourage each and every one of us to measure the use of our time during this coming week and then start having a faithful practice. How am I going to, how am I going to expend, how am I going to exercise the time that I have to best glorify God and minister to others? Let's pray. Father, thank you for the Holy Spirit, which is active right now in every one of us to direct us in the use of our time. Oh, may you be glorified through how we use our time today. And, and may we be of benefit and of service, not only to that really close person to us right now, or our family, or the, the place where we work, but to everyone we come in contact, let us be a blessing. Thank you. Amen. Grace and peace. Have a blessed day and, and guard your time carefully.